So you want an easy way how to calculate the volume of your flower pots or containers, raised beds and motion requirements? Well, I've had a little app made for my website. The link's in the description. I'm going to show you right now how you can easily use it. So we've got a typical terracotta flower pot design here and we want to know how we can calculate maybe its volume, how many gallons or litres, square inches, is in this pot so if we know it's a good fit for the plants we're trying to grow in it well you could do a lot of maths get a bit sciencey but if you can't be bothered to do that you want to head to the website in my description on the home page look there help us reach our next milestone that's something else you can help out with make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber to this channel help to support the channel that way but if you just scroll down calculate any container size I had this little app made for you guys to help you out just click on the button there oh, websites terribly fast <laughs> it's loading up and there we are look you can scroll down to the app vase volume you've got the um, typical flower pot style which is more like a corn style you've got um, there you've got the square pot design and there is cylinder so we click on the appropriate icon and then we just want to type in our dimensions so at the top it's 37 centimeters we'll click it into centimeters because here we are metric the imperial system is behind us oh look at that little little donation button just popping up because <laughs> these apps are not free if you want to help with the creation of that app it's entirely up to you no pressure the diameter then we want to put from the bottom which is about 23 centimeters 23 we'll put it in and then we want to put our vases height 34 centimeters so we just bang that straight in there so this is a 24 litre pot more or less 6.4 gallons 51 pints and a lot of square centimeters so this is my lime tree I've always thought it were a 100 litre pot but let's find out for sure the limes are doing really good I'm going to show you in a second full of tasty delicious limes growing it's full of so much fruit it'll be dropping a lot because the tree's not going to be able to sustain that much fruit but it's doing really really well so let's have a look how big this pot is I always said it was about 100 litres 53 in diameter I'm going to put it down as a cone shape because it is slightly thinner at the bottom it's not a perfect cylinder so it's about 44 centimeters at the bottom so nine centimeters thinner and how big would you say how wide how tall 42 centimeters high so 97.9 liters that's a rough estimate i might be a centimeter out here and there so yeah about a hundred liters let me show you this tree it's coming on lovely got a nice couple of limes growing there in fact there were three limes growing here but one one dropped the other day it can't sustain so many so many limes on one branch that's why i just got rid of that bud but it's just absolutely full of production look at the limes here I mean there's no way this branch is gonna support so many limes a lot are gonna end up falling off and this is our lemon tree which is doing really good right now loads of new lemons growing on it it's also growing in a hundred litre pot but um, it's obviously really far down i'd like to take this out at some time like i did the lime and fill it from the bottom with compost and uh, so to get the maximum use out of that pot but it's growing really really well in fact this year we're going to give it a really good 
prune back because it's getting a little bit too tall. I ain't no basketball player. I ain't a giant. So I don't want to be reaching too far for my lemons, but look at the lemons on it coming out. The good thing is if you've not got a lot of space and you've only got a small terrace, you'd easily fit probably a little tub like this with a lemon tree, an orange tree. And you can see, look, how well they can do, providing you're giving them plenty of sunlight. Citruses love plenty of sunlight. They like a good watering, but they don't want to be soggy and waterlogged either. And this variety, Cadaluna, meaning basically with every new moon, it's always in the production of lemons. And this is my little crimson peach tree. Beautiful foliage, look how deep red it is. And this is full, full to death with little peaches. The problem is they always end up falling off. I'm going to make sure that I give them plenty of feed this year. Maybe pluck a few off so there's not so many on each branch. This is a beautiful tree. Bought this from a garden centre that I know. It's been specially grafted onto a dwarf variety of a rootstock and it keeps nice and small. This says it'll do lovely in this small pot that I've got it in. So, well, let's see if it can knock out a decent peach this year, because last year the peach was terrible. Let me know how you guys are getting on. Let me know what you think about the app and what other uses you think it could have, or any other ideas on useful apps that we can use for gardening and horticulture. And I can think about having some more made for the website. We can get it into kind of a little tool section to help you guys out, help us all out when we're doing a bit of gardening. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I'll see you guys later.